politics is in such a mess right now. Nobody knows what's right or wrong anymore. Every politician in every country is no honest answer. It's all just a muddle. We can all see through every politician, prime minister, president, leader of any country. Wars after wars, mistakes after mistakes. It's weird how nobody has the correct answer or solution to anything. Maybe it was always destined to end up this way. Or maybe the corruption and lies from every government is hitting all of us, and our very own civilization is at risk. It's always the same story. Some political groups overspending, some political groups who don't spend apart from their own friends. Leaders aren't chosen on skill or talent or real ideas. Ones that'll work? No. There's lies, hypocrisy, corruption. Most leaders come from the same high class and highly educated background. With every generation, history just loops and repeats itself. The same old problems wrapped in new looks and different opinions and prejudices. It's one thing, then another thing, and if one thing or political idea actually works, everyone sticks with it thinking it'll never stop working. But everything eventually ends. That's the reality with life. That everything ends. Nothing can work forever. The thing with politics is that it's not adaptable to changing times, and what I mean by that is a generation sticks to a certain political party or idea that works for them, and they just think it'll keep on going. Then the party eventually, inevitably, fails after a period of time. Because things change and everyone goes crazy and surprised. Charles Darwin said it's not the strongest that wins, nor the most intelligent, but the one most adaptable to change. Like in the 21st century, so many changes have happened and no one knows how to adapt or even understand any of it. Every political party is not really adapted to the needs of our time. Just imagine, though. If there was a political party or idea that is constantly adapting on its own, adapting for everyone's needs, you could be greedy or the most selfless person and it wouldn't matter as this political idea or party is constantly adapting to new environments, opinions, through the times. Well, I stumbled upon such a place which was abandoned by society as we know it. I'm not sure of the real name of this place, but there was a large sign and it said, Forever Strong. Whatever that means. All of the houses and parks were a mess. Um, I'm really interested in places that are abandoned and no life has been seen. I did feel hungry as time went on and I was about to make my way out of the place. But as I was walking, I spotted a McDonald's, which was absolutely strange. Why would there be a McDonald's when there's no one around? I went inside, and all of the McDonald's workers were just staring at me, smiling. I ordered my food, and the workers all stared at me as I ate. I then walked out, and I started to remember about my flat, and how I'd been trying to get a mortgage for some time now, and I'm just sick of paying rent. Then from the side of my eyes, I noticed a beautiful house with my name on it. And a man in a suit showed me the keys to the house, and it was so well built, with four bedrooms, and looked really well taken care of. This man introduced himself as the president of this weird town, and his political party adapts to anything and to anyone's needs. It was like I was dreaming. But I wasn't. Whatever I needed, this political party adapted to everything to give it to me. Everything else in this town was broken down and abandoned except for my house and my life. And I wondered, why did the citizens leave? It came to the point where I had everything. And then I got a visit from the political party, which I found out was also called Forever Strong. They were all wearing suits, and they all looked sad. The president had a message to tell me. He said, We've tried our best to give you everything you need, but unfortunately there is one thing we can't give you. 
You see, we always try to give more than what we have given you from yesterday. We've given you everything. To move up from that would be things like immortality and superpowers, which we can't adapt to giving you. So, our political party must take you. What I was told was, once they couldn't provide you with something, they blamed the citizens, or in this case, me. They couldn't provide me with superpowers, so that was somehow my fault. I tried telling them that that was okay, that I, I'm more than enough. But their policies always give something better from yesterday. The president said that their political party will eventually take me, which I have no idea what that even means. But I'll never be able to get back home. Also, the rules and regulations state that if the party can't provide something to the citizen, the citizen will now be in debt to the party. So as for now, I'm in debt. And any time soon, the political party will take me. I've tried escaping, but it's turned into a maze, and phoning for help to the outside world? Well, that's not allowed. This political party has allowed me to write, though. They're giving me some room for sympathy. In the end, I guess it was too good to be true. This political party turned out to be mischievous, cunning, and unfair. Just like any other political party. I have one idea what my fate is. What they're going to do to me. Remember the weird McDonald's workers who were smiling and staring at me? Well, I bet they're going to use me like that.